Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing uh, Podcast. We are back with Quick Hits. A quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. We got great news today. Uh, and, and yesterday we did a show on a, a, on a bad fight that Golden Boy announced. We're going to do a show on a great show, on a great fight that uh, PBC has announced today. And that's Jesus Ramos versus Joey Spencer on March 25th. Um, that's on the Plant vs. Benavides card. Um, and you know, if, if that Golden Boy card was a stinger, th- th- this is a home run. Um, and I, I pit, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits come at you every day, eight to ten minutes a day. Uh, keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. And also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas boxing scene that's texas boxing scene on youtube all proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery so let's get back into today's fight this is a home run this fight um i picked this it's two undefeated prospects who are top notch but i i, I pitted the, the sports most overrated prospect joey spencer against the most overlooked prospect with the Jesus Ramos. I think Jesus Ramos, obviously I think Jesus Ramos is going to win this fight. I think he's going to win it convincingly. I think it's going to be a star-making performance. Um, you know, 154 is tough right now because one guy has got all the belts and he's injured right now. Um, so it, it is difficult to to get to that next level. Um, you know, to get a world title. There's one guy that has all of them. He's on the sidelines right now. Um, hopefully... Um, Jamel as well. The winner of this fight, I think, takes a massive step up. Um, Joey Spencer is, is 22 years old. Uh, he's 16 and 0. 10 knockouts. He's improved. Um, uh, I, I think starting with the Isaiah Seldon fight uh, about a year ago, uh, about two years ago, um, I think you've seen some improvement. Um, you know, he beat James Martin, which I still think is the best win on his resume. Uh, he had some some trouble early. You know, uh, he fought a guy named, uh, I want to say it was Eric Spring. Um, from West Virginia or something like that. And, you know, he was getting walked backwards by Eric Spring. And this is a guy that has no had no knockouts, I believe. Is that right? A oh, one knockout. Um in, in his professional career, he was like 13 and 4, 13, 3 and 2. Um, that was not a good performance. Uh, he got walked backwards by him. He came back and he fought a, a lay down guy in Sean West, destroyed him in four rounds. Then it's like, I'm like, yo, this guy's not it. 2021 was a much better year for him. Uh, we destroyed Isaiah Seldon. Um, you know, Seldon was trying to get out of the fights just like his old man did. Um, and then he beat James Martin, which I still think he shut him out, destroyed him, uh, which I still think is the best performance of his career. Um, and then he, he had the Christmas Day performance, and he's had a couple wins last year. Um, he's an improved guy. He's a good fighter. He's the PBC prospect, two-time prospect of the year. I I, I don't see that. Um, he's going to be fighting Jesus Ramos, who I, you know, I absolutely think the world of. Uh, Jesus Ramos, I, I think, along with a couple of other guys, is the future of this sport. I really think that. Um, it's a guy that's 19 and 0. He's just coming off a fight just recently. Um, most recently, Luke Santa Maria destroyed a really good fighter. And, and Luke Santa Maria is not just better than anyone Joey Smith has ever fought. I mean, he's had shoulders better than anybody before. You guys don't remember, Luke uh, Santa Maria has wins over Devin Alexander and Abel Ramos. Uh, he has one of a Michael Fox. He's got a draw up Marquise Taylor. I mean, he's a really, really, really good fighter. Um, and 
you know, I, I, if you if you put a gun in my head and said, who do you think wins, Lucas Santa Maria or Joey Spence? I'm taking Santa Maria. Um, and, and Ramos destroyed him. Um, he also has a win over Vladimir Hernandez, who is a really good fighter. He's got a win over Javier Molina. You know, um, you, you look at Jesus Ramos, and you want to think he's this big, slow, plotting, come forward guy who just comes forward and takes care of it. And he can do that, but he's so much more than that. Um, you know, he, he's got skills. He can box out of the Philly shell. He can make you miss. He can fight going backwards. Like he, Jesus Ramos is five stars, five out of five. Like he's a top notch guy. Um, Javier Molina, who, 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 who sorry about this is the one that lost to Robbie Davis in split decision uh, and, and lost to Pedraza in a, in, in a close decision and, and beat Amir Mom and has a win over Hiroki Okada. It's, it's a good fighter, right? Like the, the level of competition for Ramos, who's actually younger, right? Ramos is 20 or 21. He's actually younger um, than Spencer. It's far greater. It's far greater. Right, I mean, not even close, not even the same ballpark. I mean, you, you can go back, you know, Esteban Garcia, who he fought in 2020, is better. Ricky Edwards is probably better than anyone, um, Joey Spence has ever fought. And, and, and Ramos is this big guy, he can just come forward and take your head off. And, you know, like I said, the skills are sharp, it's a good combination, punch, he can make you miss, he moves. He's not a sitting target, which people think he is. Uh, Jesus Ramos should win this fight and should destroy Joey Spencer. Um, but, I mean, this is exactly what boxing needs to do. This is the type of fight that boxing needs to make. Two guys, undefeated prospects, highly touted. A lot of people think the world of them. Undefeated, not getting a world title fight because of the situation. Which one guy's got all the belts and he's injured. I'm not ducking and dive, not saying anything like that. It's just a difficult situation. You know, Jamal Charles fights once or twice a year, so he can only fight one or two guys. He has to fight constantly. Zoo. He's got to make these mandatories. And he may go to 160. Um, but th- these are guys who are expected to win world titles at 54. Um, and I, right now, this is a great fight. I think it's a, this is a great card now. Right, because Plant Benavides is, is you guys want to think it's a great pay per view. It's a great fight. Like that's a 50-50 fight. Um, and now you got another great fight between two young stars. Um, and the winner goes right into the world title picture. I mean, immediately into the world title picture. Um, so I'm looking forward to this fight again. I, I'm taking Ramos to pick him apart. I think Ramos. I'm gonna say, is this a scheduled ten rounder? Uh, the, the boxing seat article, I don't think said. Let's assume it's a scheduled 10 rounder. I'm going to say Ramos stops him in nine. I'm going to pick Ramos to stop him in nine. I, I think Ramos is clearly better. Again, I think this is a fight between boxing's most overrated prospect against his most overlooked prospect. Ramos is a special talent, guys. Let me know what you all think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits come at you every day. Uh, 8 to 10 minutes to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. It is January 31st, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.